Hello everyone, I am Dr. Bhavamik Joshi from Esper MDS and in this video we will discuss about two types of heart failure that is right sided and left sided heart failure. So we know the right side of heart it receives the blood through the superior and inferior vena cava. This superior and inferior vena cava they drain the venous blood to the heart from the face and head that is through the jugular veins over here through the liver and other organs of the GIT and the peripheral body parts whereas the left side of the heart it receives the blood from the pulmonary vein which drains the blood from the lungs to the left side of heart now whenever there is heart failure let's say we are talking about the right sided heart failure first so in that case what will happen the blood which was coming in the right side of the heart will no longer be able to pass through it and ultimately it will get reverted back to the organs from which it was coming. So here the blood is going in the opposite direction or is not able to pass through the heart. Let's imagine that. So in that case what will happen? The blood will get congested, accumulated in the organs from which it was coming. So if it was coming from the jugular veins or liver or the lower limbs it will get accumulated there same way if there is failure on the left side the blood will get congested in the lungs so if it gets congested in the jugular veins clinically we'll see it in the form of raised jugular venous pressure if it gets congested in the liver or spleen we'll see them in the form of congestive hepatomegaly splenomegaly or ascites or in the peripheral tissue we'll see them as peripheral edema and if it, is getting, if it is getting congested in the case of left sided heart failure in the lungs, we'll call it as pulmonary edema. So we have seen we have the right and the left side of the heart failure. Now right sided heart failure we have seen it is causing congestion in the peripheral tissues. So in the peripheral tissue what are the clinical features we have seen? First as we saw the ascites and the dependent edema in the lower limbs mostly. If it is causing congestion in the GI tract, it will lead to anorexia. GI distress and weight loss and if it is causing congestion in the liver it will lead to impaired liver function right this is all the features of the right sided heart failure on the other hand if there is left sided heart failure there are two effects which we are seeing first because there is heart failure the blood will not be able to pass from the left ventricle to the systemic uh, body parts through the arch of aorta and further arteries so because this output is blocked the decreased cardiac output will be seen that will lead to activity intolerance and there will be signs of decreased tissue perfusion for example hypotension we will see and the second feature associated with the left heart failure is the congestion that is taking place in the lungs that we have seen previously so this pulmonary congestion will lead to again two things first is pulmonary edema and second is impaired gas function now this impaired gas exchange will be there so it will lead to uh, signs of hypoxia and cyanosis and the pulmonary edema will appear in the form of cough with the sputum, orthopnea and paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. Now what are these two things? Orthopnea is dyspnea that is difficulty in breathing which is taking place in the supine position. So why it will take place? When the person lies down there will be redistribution of the blood from the other part of the body. For example lower from the lower extremities the blood will get directed towards the lung because the patient has lied down so it will lead to increased capillary pressure in the lungs there is increased pulmonary capillary pressure which will lead to difficulty in breathing this is usually associated with the nocturnal cough and when the patient sits upright at that time again blood will go back to the lower extremities and the symptoms will relieve the other feature that is paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea here it is an acute episode of shortness of breath and coughing which usually takes place one to three hours after the patient goes to sleep this is due to here we have seen it is due to increased pulmonary capillary pressure in the orthopnea in the nocturnal dyspnea it is due to increased pressure in the bronchial arteries along with obviously compression of the airway so it will lead to increased airway resistance now because this uh, the orthopnea we had seen that it was getting relieved by 
sitting upright but the paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea how you can differentiate it from the orthopnea is that this paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea it will not get resolved even after sitting upright okay this is difference between orthopnea and nocturnal dyspnea one more thing we'll see is that we have seen that the left side of the heart failure is causing the pulmonary uh, edema but the other thing a chronic lung disease for let's say even pulmonary edema sorry the pulmonary embolism or other features such as copd pulmonary fibrosis sleep apnea myasthenia gravis or poliomyelitis all of them will lead to increased blood pressure in the lung that is increased pulmonary hypertension this will ultimately lead to more function demand from this side of the heart that is right side of the heart that will lead to right ventricular hypertrophy and ultimately right sided heart failure so this right sided heart failure which is secondary to lung condition is also known as core pulmonary so remember this thing uh, many students are getting confused in this kind of question the one thing you need to remember is that the pulmonary embolism that we have seen here the pulmonary embolism is causing right sided heart failure but the left sided heart failure as we had seen in the previous slides the left sided heart failure in turn causes pulmonary edema so pulmonary embolism it causes right sided heart failure and the pulmonary edema is caused by the left sided heart failure okay everyone that's all from this video do share about aspire mds with your friends all the best thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates